Hey there guys and gals, welcome back. Uh, here we are on the, uh, I just had to show you, it was on my last video, but I was just making a, gonna make a video of um, just some shots that have been happening lately. Um, the, one, two, three, here's this hole. Now, I don't know how many times I've done this hole and never gotten a hole in one, but it finally happened. And uh, it's the one where you shoot it up on the right side of the hole and it always rolls down no matter just about wherever you put the ball. Perfect shot. But uh, lately I've been trying to just go straight at the pin and uh, it finally worked. So I don't know if you guys want to try that strategy out, but <clears throat> you know, most of the time as you watch it, uh, you can see everybody shoots it up on the right hand side of that green there. Perfect and it, uh, every time, no matter what, it never goes in the hole from up there. It always, you always go way up top and it rolls down and it misses the hole by a little bit and you end up with a, in the three meter or three, three yard mark. Um, and it's just kind of a crapshoot on who wins the hole, but um, there it is for you. Um, if you guys want to try that one out, go right ahead. It um, it uh, seemed to work for me, so it all depends on uh, which way you want to go at it. <clears throat> the shots, I don't know about you guys, but. I almost find sometimes it's easier to, like with your long putts, um, it's easier to chip off the fringe than it is to putt a long distance putt. I don't know if it's the same for everybody else, but it um, it's definitely, for me, easier, I find, like right here again, to chip it off the fringe rather than putt that hole because it's such a crazy curve on this one that um, you can't really it's hard to uh, you know get the arrow in the right spot and chipping off the fringe the arrow's going so slow it's almost impossible to miss um, it's almost impossible to miss the the center of the target so <clears throat> that's one thing to think about Especially when you're approaching holes that um, you can't, um, like if you were to put it on the back of this green here, like way back over here, you would never be able to put it in because it, one, it won't let you, or two, if it does, you end up um, with the needle going 100 miles an hour and it's almost impossible to get the right angle or uh, the right, stop the arrow in the right spot to get it to go in. So that's um, <clears throat> that's one thing to think about when you're um, chipping versus um, chipping versus uh, putting. When it comes to long distance, you uh, sometimes might want to just lay up or you know hit it past the green just a little bit close to the hole so you can chip it in rather than putt it in long distances. See like. This is my skewer club that I've been kind of showing you guys. The, uh, the skewer club, to me, is by far one of the easiest putts or chips for me. I, I hardly ever miss with the skewer. Usually because the wind never affects it. Maybe a little tiny bit, but it doesn't really matter how fast it's, um, <clears throat> it's going. It always, um, it doesn't affect it really much with the wind. Like this one's quite a ways away, 5.7. See how the wind, you know, didn't move it at all. Hardly. When it's up in the eights, nines, and tens, then you have to play a little bit for it. But um, other than that, it's basically your. So you're straight on. You can't really miss that target, and it pretty much goes in every time. So I don't know what club you guys are using, but the skewer club, if you can get that and upgrade it, probably one of the best clubs out there uh, from close to the close to the hole. 
makes um, makes a heck of a difference for me. It uh, it definitely is uh, my favorite club by far. I'm trying to think of um, a couple of questions that people have been asking. Um, somebody was saying the other day about um, people with, uh, cheating. Now, I, I heard one the, yesterday that <laughs> was rather unbelievable. I, I wanted to, I want to see it somehow, but I don't know how if he the guy never hasn't answered me whether he got it on film or not but he said he the guy he was playing against shot or timed out on the first shot he thinks on purpose he took his next shot the guy then chipped it uh, like literally 20 feet in front of him and then all of a sudden out of the blue the ball just um, continued and was in the hole, just like that. So I don't, uh, I don't, I kind of don't understand it, but I'd like to see what he was talking about, just to see what, because there's lots of cheats out there, and the most common one is people logging in and not logging in, but going in and out of the game on a cell phone and it uh, tends to cause the screen to glitch a bit so when the other person is shooting it's hard to get good accuracy but um, yeah that's uh, that one is one I'd like to see uh, the replay on just to see what actually happened so somebody obviously has uh, some kind of modding or whatever you want to call it to the game that they can do something crazy like that. Like the other day I saw a guy, now I can't figure out how he did this one either, but he, you know when you have the target on, um, you have the target and it goes up as far as the club will allow you, and then you have those four arrows that point towards the center, and you can um, put them above where your ball's gonna land, and it kind of shows you where, if you used extra power, where it would go. And um, what happens is uh, this guy was off the tee box, put his ball as far as he could go, and then took those arrows and ran them all the way up past the hole. And somehow from that point, like this is, we're talking over the trees and everything, and from that point um, took his shot. Now, I don't know how it happened, but... He, he took a shot, and then the ball just went up in the air and carried, like, we're talking four, 450, 500 yards over the trees, like, way up in the air, um, and landed past the green. Like, I couldn't even believe it. It was like a 600-yard drive almost. Like, it didn't, it didn't make any sense to me how it was possible, but he did it, and it... Um, I, ended, I still ended up beating him because he was terrible at chipping. Um, I mean, I hit my shot, and then my second shot was on the green, so obviously his second shot was on the green. We tied, and I beat him in the shootout. But the fact that he just could have drove the green on one through, <laughs> I don't even know how it was possible, but it just, uh, I never got it on tape either. I should have saved it or something, but... I missed out on it too, but I'm sure it'll come around again and I'll catch it. But Anyway, guys, I uh, guess that's enough rambling by me. Um, just thought I'd share a couple shots and blab a little, but, um, you know, like usual, hit that like button, share the video, and if you're not a subscriber, please do. We, uh, I'm always waiting for your comments as well. Um, you know, it's what I make my videos on is what you guys want to see or hear. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.